Hey there Capricorn! Welcome back to my channel. If you enjoy my readings, please be sure to like and subscribe, as well as leave me a comment and let me know if this reading resonates with you. So let's take a quick look. We've got Merlin's cards to start out with, just to give us the right direction. All right, so go ahead and think about your question. And we're going to lay that card down first. All right, so it looks like this um, situation has something to do with a friend. Maybe a friend who's coming out of um, a hard time. So it's got the phoenix rising up out of the ashes. It says evolution and change. All right, that's your central and present issue and your question. It's the answer to your question. So for your first um, card that's affecting the situation is an old man. And they may be struggling with stability because this is reversed or reflection. And this is the moisture card. And then let's take a look for envy, greed, and materialism under the earth sign here Taurus and we also have cold which shows rest reserve and bravery and it has a bear which may be associated with Virgo and for your final outcome we've got the young people delays and indecision so this one has an eagle on it and um, let's pull a couple witchy cards and see all right so for your first card we've got it has to do with a friend sensitivity feeling the environment heightened overly active nervous system all right, so this, you know, just be careful for your sensitivity, especially when it comes to your friends right now. And they may really need you to be extra sensitive. Be careful for their sensitivities, all right? And um, it could be like a fire sign because it has fire right on the front of the card and the card is called heat, all right? And then your moisture card, which has to do with a man or a boy feeling uncertain or making hasty decisions. We've got creative urges. So they may be feeling the urge to be creative. And in your, um, ooh, I love it when my palm itches. Ooh. I mean, it's kind of annoying right now, but all right, so let's see, justice. According to this, um, in your recent past, you had an earth sign, which is either Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, which is needing some type of justice. It says they care about justice. There are really, really strong feelings about the pain feeling pain if you hear or see something or you're feeling discord positive energy or negative energy so you can um you can really relate to helping people find justice especially from greed envy or materialism according to this card right here and then in your cold you've got this um cold card that had to do with it may be a virgo because it's got a bear right on the front and they're struggling with rest. They're still very reserved, but they're also very brave. And it shows this Virgo might be doing some journaling. All right, now I'm a Virgo, so um, I definitely love journaling. And actually today I started a new um, manifestation journal so basically it says that if you want to manifest then you write down what you want as if you already have it in your journal so instead of saying i want wealth or i want happiness then you write it like you already have it i am happy i am wealthy i am whatever whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish and that's going to bring it into fruition for you 
And then you also have in your immediate future, young people, delays and indulgence. And then we have this tea ceremonies card, which has to do with um, an ancient ritual of Japan, which has to do with making your tea and sitting down with your loved one. And basically just, you know, I feel like this has to do with just um, being hospitable. It's a hospitable ritual. And basically you just sit down with your loved one and uh, drink some tea and talk about, you know, things that are going on. Uh, preferably like kind of like in the old days that you, you, you know, just spend some time um, with your loved ones and really show them that you care about them. So let's take a minute to pull a manifestation card. Kind of round all this stuff together. All right, so it says success, manifesting success. All right, so you can use affirmations. Um, like I was saying, um, affirmations work the same way as journaling. Um, you just write down whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish, especially when I was in sales. I did this a lot all the way to work. I would listen to affirmations um, or information about my work. So let's pull one more card for your manifestations. Create an energetic vortex by settling, by setting intentions for your life. Whenever you set intentions for your life, it creates an energetic vortex. And that vortex will not close until you have finished whatever it is that you've set out to accomplish. All right, so um, just remember that whenever you're trying to accomplish a new goal, that if you have old goals that you haven't already finished, then you, that may be dragging you down. It might be hurting your creative forces. So try to finish your old um, before you start your new, okay? And that's going to help you to be more focused on exactly what it is you're trying to accomplish, and you won't be... Um, you know, oh, I should be doing this or I should be doing that. As a matter of fact, as an artist, it is extremely difficult for me to sit down and paint anything until I have my house clean, my area clean, my floor swept, and, you know, everything just so. So that is kind of a, it's a hard thing to do, and uh, it can really cause you a lot of issues if you have a big project due, you know, and um, you can't really focus because you know that the dishes are piled up in the kitchen, but yet you're still trying to finish this project. So I highly recommend, um, you know, every day having um, a checklist, to-do list, something that um, is always the same that will help you to get those chores and things done that will help you to focus on your goals. All right. So I hope this uh, reading has resonated with you. I hope it helps uh, Capricorn. If you do indeed enjoy this reading, please be sure to like and subscribe. And um, also let me know if, if it did resonate with you. All right. Y'all have a good night. Come back and see me next week.